Hey there, I'm Yannick and this is ESA Fraud. In the last week's video, I showed you what you learned from the book Developing 2D Games with Unity and we created a very simple 2D pixel art RPG adventure style game and we created all the basic foundations like the player, a simple attack move with a slingshot, simple very basic enemies, a health bar, a small and very simplistic inventory system and now I want to use this foundation to create my own game out of it that hopefully is going to be better. I started this week with a brainstorming so I wanted to find out what shall my RPG game be like and what will make it unique and what will make it interesting to play. After a while I came up with the idea to create a game that is kind of like the card game Munchkin. I don't know if you if you know this game, but there you have an RPG character that you can equip with dozens of very different strange and very funny weapons and armors. So I took this idea and want to bring it in the computer game world. My task then was to come up with very strange weapon ideas, so I started to create a list. For now I have a few different ideas, some are kind of unique and others are not that creative. But this list isn't final yet, so I want to keep adding new weapons to it, which are more unique. So in the end I want to have at least 20 different weapons that feel completely different and therefore are very interesting to play and to use. The first thing that I changed from the books game to my own game is the movement and rotation behavior of the player's character. In the book the character is always looking in the direction that he's walking at, but in my game I wanted to change this. The weapon that he's using shall be always visible and the player also shall always look at the direction that he's aiming at. Therefore I changed this behavior. Now the player isn't looking in his walking direction but is always looking at the mouse and the weapon that he's holding is always rotating in the direction of your mouse cursor. Now it was time to create the prototype for the first weapon. I started with a very simple stick which can be representative for any kind of sword or axe or whatever melee weapon that you can imagine. To use this properly, the player has to click the left button and then the character is swinging his sword. So I created an animation for the sword swinging. Well, in this case, more or less a stick swinging. And here you can see the final result. Well, the weapon isn't that strong or creative, but it's a kind of basic weapon that you probably will always need in these kind of RPGs. The next weapon that I created isn't too creative either. I even used the same sprite to prototype it, but this time instead of hitting the enemy, you will stab them. So I created the stab animation and a stab movement, and now you can stab your enemies to death. In the final game, the stick can be replaced with a dagger or a spear or anything else that you can poke with. For the last weapon of the week I wanted to get a little bit more creative, so I created the player shooting gun, where you basically shoot yourself at a new location. In the beginning of these weapons there were a lot of bugs that I had to fix and I wanted to show you because I think it's kind of interesting. So in the first when I started to shoot myself at other locations the enemy started to get very very slow. I didn't know why this would happen and it took me quite a while to figure out that I changed the position of the player on the z-axis which is for a 2D game not important but this made the enemy go slower because they now also wanted to change the z-axis. Another problem that I had with this weapon at the beginning is that you could shoot yourself into a location that normally shouldn't be accessible for the character so I also had to fix this. In the end everything worked as expected, now you can shoot yourself through the enemies. I'm not quite sure if I should disable the player when he's shooting himself so he disappears and then appears again when the bullet reaches its final destination, but that's a thing that I kind of got to figure out now. And that's everything I was able to do this week. In the next week I will add more weapons and also my secret weapon change mechanic that I 
won't tell you about for now. And if you have any ideas for some creative weapons, just uh, write them down in the comments. And if you want to see how this game will look like in a few weeks and want to follow the developing of the game, consider subscribing. And if you want to know how I created the foundation of this game, just watch at this video. I hope it's there. I hope I will see you next week, so stay tuned.